हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद कामरान हलील फ्रॉम यूट्यूब चैनल टी पी जी द फिजिक्स गुरुज टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द ओ लेवल्स टॉपिक फाइव जीरो फाइव फोर द करंट इलेक्ट्रिकसिटी यू ऑलरेडी नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द करंट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कन्वेंशनल करंट एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो देन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ई एम एफ एंड द पी डी पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड ई एम एफ एज वेल so uh, now the next topic uh, which is related with this uh, current electricity is the resistance basically the resistance is to resist the flow of the electrons so if it is a good conductor it means that the fluency of the flow of electron will be very smooth the free electrons will easily move from one place to the other place inside the conductor and if it is a poor conductor then it means that it will show some hurdle in the flow of the electrons so it will not allow the electron to pass quickly from one place to the other place so we will define the definition of the resistance so resistance it is the ratio of the voltage to the current that is called as the resistance so whenever you will divide the voltage by the current then you will get the third physical quantity which is called as the resistance the symbol is represented by capital r its unit is ohm and represented by the omega the formula r is equal to v over i and uh, in words you can write down the formula resistance equal to voltage over current now there are two type of resistances we deal in daily life number one is the fixed resistor and number two is the variable resistor the fixed resistor value will not change while the variable resistor the value will change according to the requirement the examples from the daily life that when we will switch on the fan which is not having a dimmer then it means that the resistance of the wire is fixed so we can't change the speed of the fan and when we will use a dimmer when we will move it clockwise or anti clockwise you have observed this is your observation that what will happen the speed of the fan increase or the speed of the fan decrease it means that there is a some mechanism inside that dimmer which will increase or decrease the resistance because resistance and current are inversely proportional to each other so it means that if the resistance of a material is more then less current will pass through it and if the resistance of material is less then high current will pass through it so the fixed resistor symbol is in front of you similarly for the variable resistor and the other name of the variable resistor is the rheostat you have to remember this name as i have written the value of the fixed resistance can be 20 ohm 10 ohm and it's up to mega ohm and for the variable resistor i have written 0 up to 50 ohm range so it means that rheostat will give you the variety the difference of the different value of the resistances now we will define one ohm one ohm is defined as r equal to v over i so one ohm equal to 1 volt over 1 ampere so when there is a potential difference of 1 volt across the terminal of a circuit and the current flowing is 1 ampere then the resistance is will be 1 ohm similarly you can define the 5 ohm 3 ohm 2 ohm whatever required in the paper let's suppose they will ask that define the 5 ohm so how you will define that 5 ohm is the when the 5 volt current 5 volt potential difference will be set up across the terminal of electric circuit and the current will be 1 ampere because 5 over 1 gives you 5 so it is called as the 5 ohm now the resistance depend on two factors resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor if we will consider the wire length is less it means that it will offer less resistance and if its length will be more then it will give you the more resistance similarly on the second factor on which resistance depend is the area of cross section now what is the area of cross section the area of cross section is the thickness of the wire if the wire is very thick it means that area is more than resistance is less area and resistance are inversely proportional to each other remember this thing and if the wire is very thin the area is very less so it will offer very high resistance so area and resistance are inversely proportional to each other so if the length is let's suppose that the length is 10 cm and the resistance is let's suppose 20 ohm so if i will double the length 
that is equal to 20 centimeter then the resistance will also become double 2 into 20 will give you 40 ohm and on the other side if we will consider the example of the area of cross section then what will happen let's suppose that area is 2 centimeter square and the resistance is 10 ohm now i will double the area double the area mean now 2 a that is equal to 4 centimeter square now what will happen to the resistance will it double or will it be half now by increasing the area the resistance will be less the resistance will be half so now the new resistance will be r that is equal to 5 ohm so these are the two factors on which the resistance will depend so area and resistance are inversely proportional and length and resistance are directly proportional now another question which has been asked in the paper so many times that how can you find the resistance draw a circuit diagram already i have told you when i have covered the topic related with the symbols i told you remember those symbols because now this is the time to use those symbols which you have learned the cell the emitter this is unknown resistance unknown value we do not know what is the value of this resistance so what i will do i will use the ammeter in series and the voltmeter across the component across which we want to find the resistance in parallel now when we will close that switch what will happen the ammeter will give you the reading the voltmeter will give you the reading and then thus nothing else you have to do just substitute the values in the formula r equal to v over i you will get the value of the unknown resistance but whenever you will perform the experiment you never ever rely on the one value what you have to do you always use more than one values in order to get the accurate answer so what you will do you will add the variable resistor variable resistor just before that resistor now what is the function of the variable resistor that you will get the different set of values of the voltage and the current and one precaution that set the value of the variable resistor at its highest value before close that circuit what will happen because when you will set its value at its highest value then the current pass through the circuit will be very low sometime it happened that you will set this value at a very lowest value then a large amount of current will flow and the component across the voltmeter may get damaged or it may burn as well so you will set the value of the variable resistor at its highest value and then close that switch then you will get one set of value for the voltage and one set the value of the current then change the value of the resistor decrease its value from maximum to minimum value but in a regular interval so then you will get the data which you will substitute in the table so whenever you will draw the table keep one thing in your mind that write down the current along with its unit then voltage along with its unit volt and r equal to v over i and do not forget to write down its unit ohm so in that way you can get the different values of the resistance and then at the end you will find the average or you may draw the graph as well i hope that now you learn that how you can measure the value of the resistance take care